hi guys how are you welcome back to my youtube channel oh my god i feel like i have honestly missed these sit down videos i just haven't had time i haven't been in the right headspace like i've been super busy but i'm super excited to be back and make, like doing these sit down videos and lately i've been enjoying watching vlogs but i also know that i also like to watch an, an, a nice sit down video once in a while so i thought i'd come here and make one I just did a, a, a reel on Instagram reel of how I got ready to do to shoot this video so I thought I wouldn't waste this opportunity since I have a lot of things that I want us to talk about anyway today I want us to talk about this whole conversation around soft life uh, you know and soft life gang I, I, I remember one someone on Instagram actually sent me if I can get I maybe I will be able to get that uh, that dm and she said something about oh my god you're like a soft life queen and i'm like okay wow soft life queen i like that i like that however guys i feel like let me first define for you what soft life is because i feel like there's many things that uh, everyone has a different understanding but the urban dictionary defines soft life as uh, a, a life of ease without requiring hard work <laughs> already red flag sacrifice red flag and pleasantness red flag it is important to understand that this social movement is less about wealth and more about fair access to a standardized good quality of living now this i like anyway so basically i i have been listening a lot and just seeing on social media i think there's been someone called the textured crown on instagram she talked about soft life and you know like stuff there's many pop it's really a mainstream conversation but i also feel like Sometimes we misunderstand so the soft life idea to be all about luxury unboxings and just fancy trips and eating out in fancy places and don't get me wrong I love a good luxury bag like you know <laughs> I'm saving for my um, for my bucket one day <laughs> One fine day when this girl has enough money to splurge without feeling like oh my god why so yeah but uh, soft life for me and the way I would like us to dis to, to understand is that I don't think soft life is just all about those things those things are really good and yes I'm happy to see like black girls enjoying those things I like to see people I like following people like Nelly um, Geek on Fashion and Joe Lately because they just you know they, they're like I they I like what they do and I love you know so yeah but however that is not just the only definition of soft life soft life is beyond just mainstream luxury and high-end designer bags and high-end trips to Maldives or to Bora Bora or to all those nice places that we all dream of I think I like the definition they said soft life is a life of ease you know a life of ease I think let me go back they said a life of ease and it's not just about uh, wealth, but more about fair access to a standardized good quality of living. So for me, my understanding of soft life is basically, because I'm a very ambitious person. I have all these dreams and sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the rat race of life, achieving, achieving, achieving and chasing the next best thing that you don't stop to enjoy what you currently have. So for me, soft life is really just a life, or a slow life. Not, not in terms of not doing nothing, but in terms of just stopping and enjoying where I am. Because, like, the things I want to do. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen the things I post. And, you know, that is me putting it out there in, and telling God, this is what we are co-creating together. However, for me, soft life is just not... Uh, luxury only it's about the small enjoying where you are enjoying the small things but also a life of ease and not getting caught up in chasing that and keeping up with the Jonas's. you never even say that right like you know just keeping up with the kardashians keeping up with the next best thing because i find that in main street we have all been sold that way of living and for me my soft life is taking back my power and saying no i will not buy stuff simply because everyone is buying them i will not buy into what everyone is doing simply because they're doing it you know so it's soft life for me is taking back my life saying no i actually like life in the countryside no i actually like you know turning to my gardens no i'm not going to buy into doing you know just consuming for the sake of consuming you know i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i feel like soft life is not a life without sacrifice <laughs> I don't know where these guys get their things but i do not I, so i think the thing is when we when content creators come on social media or on, in, on the internet bios's internet we just show you 
sometimes the end product or we just show you highlights we don't really show you the sacrifice behind getting this thing that these girls and these men are showing on 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 the gram you know but soft life isn't a life without sacrifice it's a life of i think sometimes you prepare yourself for your soft life <laughs> if that if that makes sense for example if for someone soft life can be laying in on the weekends for a month not doing not going to work for for you know for a month on the weekend and the soft life would be preparing for that 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 doesn't mean that she'll just you know wake up and oh my god i'm not going to work no but she's going to prepare for that life and she won't show you of course you know that number of hours she was put in to make sure that her desk is cleared of any backlog or that maybe if she's an entrepreneur that she sent out all the bills that needs to be paid stuff like that so soft life is not without sacrifice but it's saying for me i feel like soft life in terms of the sacrifice it's saying i will sacrifice this to attain that soft life that i want you know so it's not that life I mean, life, ah, I don't know, any, anyway, I'm, unless you're like Dangote's son, Bitature's daughter, or Mbire, you know, but if you're not like a millionaire's child, and an average you're like most of us on this internet, we really do sacrifice. So even if you're like unboxing a luxury bag, you've saved for it, unless like you're those people who can just, there's people who have that money, they'll just walk in and swipe, you know, but for most of us, we don't, so we save up for those things, but so that's soft life that soft life is being able to say what i want this and i'll save up for that so there will there will of course be some form of sacrifice there'll, there'll be some form of unpleasantness that will come with it but the unpleasantness is not in that it's going to be so painful or you're going to eat donuts or stuff like that but it's just denying yourself certain things so that you can attain a certain lifestyle that you want you know and soft life guys is very it's how do i say it's a very subjective thing your soft life ideal is not my soft life ideal my soft life ideal you guys know is living on a farm wearing linen eating cheese drinking wine all day like i don't dream of labor the labor i dream of is pottery the labor i dream of is designing clothes and designing bags that is my soft life, you know, but for someone else's soft life, it could be flying to Dubai, first class, you know, and a soft life, a person's soft life is just being able to actually afford a medical treatment that they are, you know, they really want. So without having to dip into all their savings. So it's really very, um, very different for everyone. And I think, I think for me, I feel like the idea of soft life is just really a protest. I think it's sort of like pushing back against the idea that only a few people deserve to live a certain lifestyle. All of us deserve to live a life of quality, a life that we want, a life that we are happy of. Of course, there is barriers, there is lots of challenges, there is things that uh, society has put in place to keep many of us, you know, behind and not, being, not be able to do the things we want to do. But I feel like when you talk about soft life, we should and like broaden our perspective and not keep it only onto like mainstream life because i feel like there's such a negative vibe now that people are attaching to soft life so whenever a person has soft life they're like uh you know they think it's all just about materialistic stuff and just about materialism and just about uh mainstream you know luxury designer bags and that's really just that's just like how many people can like it's so small you know there's a huge big thing behind that so i feel like yeah if you aspired for a soft life you know i think that you you should define for yourself what your soft life looks like sample soft life is on washing clothes guys my soft life is not washing clothes i hate washing clothes so being able to afford a washing machine is a soft life you know we didn't grow up with washing machines in our homes no you know so it's a soft life and my mom always says oh my god you're such as you like you like ease and that is true i am the queen of ease if it's easy i will do it i will i don't i want to do it as easily as possible why should i do it the hard way if there's an easy way so I feel like that is what soft life like movement is all about it's a protest so that i i really don't want us to be so how do i say against or negative towards that time just like the way we were so negative towards the term slay queen i mean i feel like most times when women come up with things that that may give us joy i feel like society hijacks them and takes them and makes turns them into like villainous words or like you know bad movements so right now everyone is saying about oh how the soft life is going to make you broke but no if you if if you don't have the money to do the things that you want to do now prepare sacrifice 
prepare yourself for that for the time when you are able to do them but in the meantime you can enjoy where you are you know and all of us are not where we used to be a few years ago we have all moved so but enjoy where you are and that's soft life like if someone's soft life can be letting a candle in their home and just having like a spa at home that's a soft life you know so it's 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 very different and it's not it's not uniform for ev all women because women are not the same different women have experienced life differently so we can't all assume that all of us are the same but yeah i really hope that you embrace the soft life i hope you embrace the life of ease I hope you embrace a life of, of, of pleasantness, a life of joy, a life that you want and that you push back. You know, you push back against the rat race, against society's expectations of how you should live your life and you decide for yourself and look, this is my soft life gang. This is my soft life movement. This is my soft life. This is what, how it's going to look like, you know. Yeah, I'm extremely passionate about us we, women, especially African women living life on our own terms because i feel like man at least for me it, it has taken me so long so so long like and i'm still learning you know so i really wish that many of us would have the courage to step out and live life on our own terms anyway i have rambled down and yeah i just first of all i look so good on camera like i'd forgotten how amazing and beautiful i am yeah guys please join me in praying for a husband because all this beautiful awesome nans can't just go wasted <laughs> anyway please subscribe guys i'm really on the road to 2k i know i don't really care so much about numbers but also it helps that uh, you guys are watching and you guys are growing so please subscribe share the content with other people and let me know what you guys want us to talk about okay anyway it was nice chatting with you guys see you in my next video bye